Hi, and welcome to Supernatural by Design. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so that you can receive all the latest content. With that said, today's topic is titled Science vs. Religion, the Christian origins behind modern science. Is science and religion at odds? Can you believe in one and not the other? By the end of this video, you will see that science was in fact founded by Christians who believed that their faith in God was central to their investigations of the natural world. This video will give you a deeper perspective into the origins of modern science. And so with that said, let's begin with what is science? Well, here is an Oxford definition. The intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment, or simply that science is a set of observations about something. And why is this important? Well, check this out. Romans 1.20 states, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly observed in what He made. As a result, people have no excuse. And because the Bible states that observations prove that He made it, which is a very scientific thing to say, and furthermore concludes with because the evidence is so pronounced, no one has an excuse, which is amazing to think about. And I say that to say this, that the Bible highlights that science is useful. However, the science of today's time would tell you that science and the Bible don't mix. But is that really the case? In this video, we are going to investigate the founding fathers of nearly every branch of science, as well as the methods in which science is conducted today. I will be honest with you, scientists in the past have more often than not believed in God. And not only that, but their belief in God made it useful in conducting scientific experiments. Unfortunately, the narrative today in secular science is one that states that God and science are separate, science versus religion. However, as we understand from Romans 1, they are. And so with that said, let's investigate the evidence that Christianity actually laid the foundation for modern science. And to do that, we need to go back into time. Well, to start, let's simply list out the founders of many scientific disciplines. So let's start back in 1175 AD with Robert Grotesti, who contributed to the origins of the scientific method. Or how about Nicholas Oresby, early founder and popularizers of modern science, Otto Brunsfeld, father of botany, or William Turner was the father of English botany, Francis Bacon, the father of empiricism, what is now called the scientific method, or Francesco Reddy, founder of parasitology and experimental biology, Antoine van Leeuwenhoek, father of microbiology. Albrecht von Haller was the father of modern physiology. Antoine Lavoisier, father of modern chemistry. Carl Linus, father of modern taxonomy. George Cuvier, father of paleontology. Gregor Mendel was the father of modern genetics. Hermann Borges, founder of clinical teaching. Isaac Newton is the founder of Newtonian physics, which governs large objects. And on the flip side, Max Planck is the founder of quantum theory, which governs small objects. You also have Louis Pasteur, who is the founder of bacteriology, Lord Joseph Lister, pioneer of antiseptics. Some of my favorites are James Clark Maxwell, Alessandro Volta, Andre Marie Ampere, Heinrich Hertz, and Michael Faraday, because all five not only contributed to the advancement of electricity, but their names are also synonymous with the SI units of those quantities in electricity, like volts, amps, Hertz, and even Faraday's, which is the SI unit for a capacitor, whereas James Clark Maxwell contributed the mathematics behind electricity and its relationship to magnetism. And as you can see, all these guys were not only Christian, but were founders of these branches of science. In fact, here's a few quotes from some of these guys. The more I study nature, the more I stand amazed at the work of the Creator. A quote from Louis Pasteur, the founder of bacteriology. Here's another one from him. Science brings men nearer to God. Or how about Francis Bacon, the father of empiricism? A little philosophy inclineth a man's mind to atheism, but depth in philosophy bringeth men's minds about to religion. Or how about Michael Faraday, the discoverer of electromagnetism? He stated the book of nature, which we have to read, is written by the finger of God. Or how about Max Planck, the founder of quantum theory? Both religion and science need for their activities the belief in God. 
the crown of any reasoning concerning the worldview. And so as you can see, their belief in God made it possible for them to conduct their experiments. My two favorite and most significant in my opinion are Isaac Newton and Max Planck because one found the physics of big objects which is anything like the size of a single-celled organism and up, whereas the other founded the physics of the small, which is everything smaller and starting at the atom. However, Isaac Newton is significant in that he wrote more Christian literature than his scientific discoveries of gravity, light, physics, and inventing the mathematics of calculus, and is considered to be the most influential scientist of all time. And lastly, he is quoted as saying, all my discoveries have been made in answer to prayer. And so with that said, as you can see, modern science was not only founded by Christian scientists, but by biblical verses as well, which is really interesting and showing that the two, science and Christianity, are not separate at all. In fact, the Bible even indicates this too, as we saw earlier, and verifying its accuracy that nature through observation clearly identifies that God created it. Therefore, we can conclude that science and Christianity are not at odds with each other and that you can believe them both. Or another way to look at it is that science actually gives you evidence for a creator. Well, I hope this was useful in uncovering the origins of Western science. I would love to know your thoughts. So definitely please leave a comment down below whether you agree or disagree, and tell me why. And if you haven't already hit the like and subscribe button, then please do that now. Also, head over to our Facebook page, Supernatural by Design. There, you'll be able to see daily quotes, Bible verses, and get notifications of when YouTube videos drop as well. I just want to thank you for watching, and have a blessed week.